Hey there everybody, good morning, good morning. Welcome to another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host, and today we're going to talk about how to stop wasting time. You might not even think you're wasting time, but that's going to be our topic today. So, if you are watching live or watching on the replay, I would appreciate it if you would drop me a comment and say hi, and today something special. Let me know, let all of us know, where you're watching from. You know, as I go through yesterday, man, we had some awesome comments yesterday, and those conversations continued throughout the day. And as I was working my way through the comments yesterday, I realized that um, we're kind of spread out all over the place here. We've got, I refer to our European contingent quite often, uh, all over the states for sure, uh, Australia. From time to time, we've got some uh, uh, folks from the Asia continent. Wouldn't it be awesome if we got all seven continents on at one time? I don't know. Anyway, just a goal. But uh, leave me a note down there. Say hi. Let me know that you're watching and where you're watching from. That would be fantastic. Also, if you like what you hear while we're talking today, hit that like button, the thumbs up button. I see all those little things float by. Uh, and it's encouraging. It's happy. Happy thoughts. So, good morning, Jeremy. Good morning. Uh, good morning to my bride. She's funny. Uh, and good morning, Ramona. So, uh, thank, thanks to all of you for being here and everybody else who's going to join on the replay. So, our topic today is wasting time. This one uh, kind of originates from a quote that I wanted to share. Um, that, that kind of came up in my list. And I'll just go with it and we'll see where this goes. In the real world, everything you do rules out something that you can't do. In the real world, everything you do has to take the place, we'll say, of something else that you necessarily cannot do. Anytime, another way I say this quite frequently is, Anytime you say yes to someone else's priority, you have to say no to your own. You can't say yes to someone else's demand without saying no to something of your own. That, that's just some of the limitations of the time-space continuum that we live in, right? So you're making a choice. Here's how this plays out and here's how it plays into wasting time. Very often, we wrap ourselves up in doing busy work. And it might not even feel like it's busy work. Yeah, that's stuff to be that needs to be done. And look, if you're a business owner, small business leader, starting up a side hustle, I get it. Got it. Understand, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done. I was having this conversation with somebody just the other day <laughs> about yeah, but I gotta do this and I gotta do this and I gotta do this and that and that. And I still hadn't done any work yet. And I'm like, I know. That's the I mean, that's the way that it is, right? So just because there's a lot to do, here's the key point, right? Just because there's a lot to do doesn't mean you have to do it. So rather than ask the question, is this necessary? Right, which is what we that's the question that we normally ask when we're talking about wasting time. Is this necessary? Do I have to do this? Right? Ask a different question. That question is, is this activity, is this thing I'm about to engage in, is this the best and highest use of my time? In that business context, right, when you're, when, when you're running the business, there's all kinds of things that need to be done. Can someone else do some of those things? What, what are the things that are uniquely yours in running the business? The things that only you can do. I, and it's not limited to business. Think about it at home. Think about it um, at work if, you, uh, if you're an employee. What are the things that only you can do to create value. Nobody else can do. You're uniquely gifted, talented, and placed to create value in this way. Those are the things that you should uh, focus your time on. 
I'm not saying those are the only things you can do, clearly, but, you know, it, it's not, um, should not be limited to those things. But when you have to make a choice and you have to decide where to put your time, always think about the best and highest use of your time. Is this activity that I am just about to engage in the best and highest use of my time? If you ask yourself that question, that just try it out today. If you don't believe me, that's fine. That's okay. Um, just try it for yourself today. As you go through the day and you're looking at your to-do list, you're looking at your calendar, you get an email, you get a phone call, ask yourself, is this the best and highest use of my time? And I'll tell you one of the tricks that I use. I might be giving away a, a secret here. Ah, uh, I don't care. Here's, here's one of the tricks that I use. If somebody calls me on the phone and and the number is not in my phone, meaning I don't see their name show up there, I don't answer it. Goes to voicemail. And then I listen to the voicemail. People are far more succinct in voicemail. And most of the time anymore, you know, eh, telemarketers or, you know, IRS scammers or something like that. I don't know. But that's just one way that I manage my time. If I stopped, if I'm in the flow here and I am working on something, right, and the phone rings, it's almost guaranteed it's going to have nothing to do with what I'm working on. Guaranteed. So I'm going to interrupt this flow to answer this call. Even if it is a legitimate call, it's going to be on a different topic. I have to pay the switching tax to switch to that topic, do that little bit of work, and then come back over here. Just let that go. If it's super important, they'll call you right back or send you a text, right? Whatever it is, and that's just one of the things, right? I, I block schedule. We've talked about that where I work on this for 50 minutes, usually 50 minute blocks. Work on this for 50 minutes, get up, walk around, come back, sit down, work on another block. Might be the same project, might be a completely different project. But in that block, that's all that I work on. That's how, that's one of the ways that you can apply your full attention and trick your mind into not worrying about all this other stuff. Right? If you've got this list you're trying to keep up with, do you know the same part of your brain up here that keeps up with a list, that's the part of your brain that is responsible for creativity. So if you're holding on to all these things that you need to get done today, you're, you're, Trying to be creative with one hand tied behind your back. But if you can trick your brain into thinking that's got its own time scheduled at 2 o'clock this afternoon, so I don't have to worry about it till then, I can focus on this, so much better. So, stop wasting your time. The application here, if you are doing those things that are not the best and highest use of your time, it is very possible that you're wasting your time. Stop doing that. Start applying. Start asking yourself the question, is this the best and highest use of my time? Guarantee you'll get better results moving toward or creating progress toward that uh, outcome and result that you're looking for. All right, let's get a couple of more good mornings in here. Brooke, good morning to you. Quieting the noise, Jeremy says. Yeah, absolutely. We let so much noise into our life. All right, here's another tip for you. Uh, it's been a couple of months ago. I got this app on my phone called Headspace. They're not a sponsor, not getting any kickback on this. I just love the app, right? It's a 10-minute guided meditation every morning. Huge difference. Makes a huge difference in how I attack the day. As I wake up in the morning, because I'm, I, you know, I'm describing a lot of this stuff that, that you guys experience. It's because I experience it, too. Right? So I get up in the morning, I got all these things going on, right, what am I doing? I look at my list. Alright, I already have my day planned out, I got all this other stuff. I, oh, I got an idea for that. I've got inputs coming in from emails and messages and events that happened overnight. Just taking 10 minutes to stop, not worry about anything else, relax. And, and as Jeremy says, quiet the noise makes a huge difference in the rest of the day. Now, that's possible because I get up pretty early in the morning. Right? The earlier you get up, the more control you have over that time. 
If you get up 10 minutes before you're supposed to leave the house, you wake up in a, in a panic stress mode, right? If you get up two hours before you need to leave the house, you got plenty of time, right? <clears throat> that means you need to go to bed early <laughs> the night before so that you can get that sleep. But it, look, this is about productivity, getting the right things done. The longer you go in your day, the less control you have over it because you get emails, phone calls, demands from other people. Right? So take that time in the morning uh, as your time. All right, Ramona says, I don't set up voicemail as it's a waste of my time listening to all the messages. If people know me or work with me, they send me a text or email and know, and know I'm busy if I don't answer. That was good. I was spending too much time scanning voicemails that were useless. Yeah, absolutely. One of the things I love about uh, my voicemail, so I'll go ahead and tell you guys this. I use Google Voice. As the phone number that I give out for everybody. So all my voicemails go in there. They transcribe them and I get them in a text message. So I can look at it just like that. Delete them if I want to. Call them back if I don't. Or if I do it. If I want to call them back, swipe it. If I don't, swipe it the other way. It's deleted. But Ramona's got a great point, right? A lot of it is about setting expectations. As she says, people know if I don't answer the phone, I'm busy. Right? Well, she has appropriately set expectations with those folks on how uh, she's going to answer and how she's going to interact with them, right? And once you do that, I mean, people get it. And in fact, here's a, another power tip for you. Tell them why you're doing it. As you are setting these expectations, say, hey, you know, I schedule my day in the you know the block format so I, I can get... Um, so I can, you know, get more results. I can be more um, successful throughout the day. Uh, so I'll, I won't call you back until uh, the 2 o'clock hour, but I'll call you back sometime in that hour. They might ask you to tell them more about that. They might need that also. So you know what to do, right? Point them over toward this show where we talk about how to do that. All right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, and, and uh, yeah. Yeah, Eric's got some great stuff there, Jeremy. One of the things uh, a, a mentor, a friend of mine said was, you know, about beginning your days, lead your life from quiet. Start quietly. Don't start in stress and panic mode. Oh, that's just, it's tough. All right, best in high, yep, yep. Okay, all right, just checking the comments there. And that looks like that's what we've got. All right. So, uh, hey, Flora, thanks for being here. So if that's been helpful for you, man, I appreciate you being here. And I would love it if you would share the show with some of your friends. Let them know. Either tag them. Actually, this is probably the best way. Just make a comment down below and say, hey, Joe, this would be a great show for you to check out. Tagging them in that comment will then send them a message they can run over uh, and watch the video. If you are having difficulty creating the results that you're looking for, you are not alone. But if you want to do, if you want to get different results, you have to do things differently. That's why I put together the Fast Five program. You can find that at TomRigsby.com. Look for the Fast Five icon up in the top right hand corner. That will get you started. It's Friday. That means the next two days of the weekend. And where does my content come out on the weekend? Instagram. So if you're not following me there, you should do that. It's at Tom Rigsby. Remember, that's T-H-O-M. I'll put a link to that uh, in the comments or in the note there somewhere along the way. You have a fantastic weekend. Um, figure out how to spend some time leading your life from quiet. Or as Jeremy says, uh, through the, the, uh, Eric says via Jeremy, quiet the noise, right? Take this the noisy stuff and put it over here. Figure out your best and highest use for next week. And then as you plan your week for next week, make every effort to make them best and highest use moments. All right, that's it for this week. Thanks so much for being here. I appreciate it. I'll be back again on Monday. Remember to check me out over the weekend on Instagram. That's it. Talk to you Monday. <laughs>